Hello and welcome to the Wooly Thistle channel. We are excited to be here and tell you a little bit about the Wooly Thistle. I'm here with my co-host Maggie. Hello. My name's Corinne and we run the Wooly Thistle, which is an online yarn shop located in West Lebanon, New Hampshire. Uh, we are online only and we love what we do. We have so much great stuff to share with you too. So the Wooly Thistle started in 2016 after I attended the Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Had a light bulb moment because I was basically buying all the yarn at EYF. And I thought, I know my friends would like to knit with this too. And that's when I decided that I would reach out to some um, British vendors to see if I could make that happen. And they were very agreeable. And we started in earnest the little woolly thistle, three boxes of yarn, some from Blacker, some from West Yorkshire Spinners and some from John Arban. And from there, from that little seed, we have grown and grown. And now here we are almost six years later. Um, running this amazing shop and community. We have a wonderful community, which I'll talk about as well. So yeah, the Woolly Thistle has grown by leaps and bounds, but we're still a small shop at heart and we want to be your local yarn shop online. Wouldn't you say so? Yes. Yes, and we hear that we are your local yarn shop online quite a lot and that just warms the cockles of my heart. <laughs> I'm originally from Scotland. I've lived here since 1992 but uh, running the Wooly Thistle means that I get to keep those very special connections with home. And Maggie here was my first employee ever. When I ran it in the room over my garage, Maggie used to come in on Fridays and work with yeah. me to, to get your orders out. So we love all things woolly wool, don't we? We do. We have a very specific agenda here. We love specific breeds. We love yarns that tell stories. Yeah. And we just love woolly wool. We love woolly wool and definitely, as you said, yarns with a story, which typically means that it's coming from the UK, whether that be the islands way up in the north of uh, Scotland or off to the west at the Outer Hebrides. Uh, right the way through Scotland, down through Yorkshire, and all the way down to the bottom of the UK in Devon and Cornwall. We um, source these yarns and we bring them to you. And these are usually, most often, non-superwashed, more rustic type yarns, much closer to the sheep that grew it. And we love that about what we do. We also do a lot of Scandinavian and European yarns. Um, we are actually just starting to stock a Spanish yarn and we have yarns from uh, Portugal as well. And we have yarns from Norway, Finland, Sweden. <laughs> So we love, we love that part of the world for the yarn production there. And we're also looking at starting to stock yarns right here at home in the U US because we have wonderful woolly wools right here as well. Mm -hmm. And I know that a lot of knitters love to knit locally too. So we have lots of great things going on. So our podcasts, if you decide to watch us, and we really hope you do, we tend to have a format where it's not just me and you talking the whole time. We have segments from employees who work here, including Caitlin and Kelsey, and they will come on and talk about what they love and what they're knitting with. And Emma is wonderful. She comes on and tells us uh, whatever she's knitting. She has her own podcast called Tiny Desk Knits. And we have a wonderful connection with Rachel, who is actually a crofter up there in Fair Isle uh, from the Shetland Islands. And she sends in her postcards once a month where she tells us about life in the craft and what she's knitting. And, you know, we all know her sheep by now, if you've been watching, which is just lovely. She names every single one of them. And all of this is really to serve a community of really passionate and caring knitters. We have the best community, don't we? We do. We have large but enthusiastic and warm and welcoming groups full of helpful people, mm -hmm. um, both on Facebook and on Ravelry. Yes, and either place you'll find um, answers to your questions, not necessarily from us, but from other knitters in the group. They're really good at helping uh, solve problems and sharing uh, sharing wins as well as disasters. We all have them. Um, and so, yes, we are there for each other. We also did a Knitting Buddies program back when COVID started. We realized that people may feel lonely and alone out there being um, isolated in lockdowns and things. And so we started the Knitting Buddies and it was such a success that we still match people together yeah. where you um, have your own group and you can meet on Zoom or if, uh, if by chance you are more local, you can do that. And they are still going. Many mm -hmm. of those groups are still go going. 
Um, and also our community here on YouTube, we get so many comments every single episode and Maggie and I and anyone who's contributing to the episode will try and jump in and answer your comments and we love that about our community. Um, you meet us and we, we go out to where you are and we spend a lot of time uh, chatting and uh, finding out what it is that you love about the woolly thistle and what you love about woolly wool and what we can do to um, bring those two things together. Um, I'm famous for saying all knitting is good knitting and that's because I spend a lot of time knitting things that I end up ripping out. Uh, we, are not, um, we are not too proud to show off our mistakes and share with you how we fix our fudges and things like that and I think that makes the woolly thistle a little bit special because we show you the, the messy underneath <laughs> more often than not which is fun um, and very humbling too and I think it gives a lot of our knitting community um, uh, patience with themselves and and a good a good balanced sense of what it means to be a knitter especially a daily knitter um, you know you're not just going to start knitting a sweater and it'd be perfect there's a journey there and we're on that journey with you yeah, yeah. Um, thank you for um, watching and we hope that you decide to join us on our channel um, if you do be sure to subscribe and join us in our Facebook group and our Ravelry group. Yeah, yeah. Come and meet, come and hang out with us. And uh, we do lots of cows as well. So you can join in on those. And yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel here. I think you'll enjoy it and tell your friends about us. Uh, we definitely want to spread the word because we love what we're doing and we love the people we're meeting. So thanks very much for listening and um, go, watch a, go watch a podcast. We'll see you later. And remember, if you go out, take your knitting. Bye for now.